Thanks for checking back in. Last week we showed you around the beautiful Whit Sundays. This week we take you over to Magnetic Island, just off the coast of Townsville, Queensland. Good morning. morning! We just took the ferry across from Townsville. It probably took about 20 minutes and it was stunning. Awesome. That, so nice. That sunrise, classic, classic sunrise. So hopefully a sign for a good day. Should be. Got our coffees in hand. Just got to wait for the car hire place to open up and then we'll get our little beach cart for the day. First stop, we're going to check out the iconic shipwreck on Magnetic Island. Then we're going to do one of the main hikes Fingers crossed seeing some koalas. Um, and then the rest of the day, just beach hopping our way around. There's so many amazing bays here. We just want to check out as much as we can in the day that we're here. So come along and we'll show you the sights. Got a little adventure reveal. Have a look at this nug. Look at that thing. <laughs> It's gonna be a ripper day. I feel like we're cheating on dance. That's okay, it's just for a day. But today, or this morning, we're at Cockle Bay, our first stop of our itinerary. This is where, so just off the coast of here is the SS Adelaide, which is a shipwreck. You can actually walk out to it on low tide, but it's pretty high tide right now, so we're just gonna see it from the air. It's gonna be pretty cool, have a go at this. <music> Just started the Forts Walk. It's about 4K return. And we're gonna go to the top where there are a bunch of, uh, well, there's some remnants of World War II sort of like bunkers and search places and stuff, which should be pretty cool. And from the top, it's supposed to be an amazing view. We just spotted a little koala bear having a snooze right behind us. We're gonna try to get a little bit of a closer look because he's so cute. to the top. How about that view, eh? Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty chill hike too. Yeah. Uh, it's just a slight slope the whole way. A couple of cool little forts along the way. But the best part is just seeing that color of that water and all the bays that we're going through, which calls us to go there next. Nice little 
little perch for lunch. Oh yeah. This is uh, Arthur's Bay, which is our first stop of the beaches. It's supposed to be one of the prettiest ones, but it's it's blowing straight into the bay. So we went down to the beach first. It's a little too windy. Had a little explore, found this little spot, have some tucker, and then we've got a couple more beaches we want to hit after lunch. Look at that. Look at that avocado. So just did the uh, 1.2k hike Park the car at Horseshoe Bay, which is sort of like another little hub on the island. And then a lot of up and down, lots of rocks, but it was worth it for this little slice of paradise. Just awesome. But now we're all hot and sweaty, so we need to go for a oh, dip. Yeah. Refreshing. So nice. So that was Radical Bay, and I think that was probably our favorite bay that we've been to yeah, so far. Absolutely so, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. And I think you can snorkel just off the rocks there. So if you do come here, bring some snorkel gear because it would, would be recommend. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and it's worth it because it is that a little bit further and a little bit harder. It means there were a couple of people max in that whole bay, which was just stunning. That was so, so nice. Now, it's time to make the walk back to Horseshoe Bay. Probably have another dip because it's pretty damn hot. <laughs> and then see if there's anywhere else we want to check out on the way back. And that's the end of our Magnetic Day adventure. So that just about wraps up today's Magnetic Island trip. Yep. So nice. It's beautiful here. I don't know whether in a day, like you can smash it in a day, but I, I'm sure you could honestly spend a year here with different weather, checking out different bays. There are so, so many. But from what we researched and what we found, they were probably the ones that were recommended the most and we were not disappointed at all. That was really, really nice. Um, can get a shuttle bus here as well, but we just thought we could get more done with the car. The Forts Walk is a must. Koalas were awesome and it seems pretty normal that you see them all the time. So. Such a fun day, so much time in the sun. We are knackered. Yeah, we will put in the description below the order of what we did, if you wanted to also follow that along or just to see exactly which bays we went to and when, which might be kind of helpful if you're planning something similar. Um, so now we're just waiting for the ferry. We'll take it back to the mainland, pick up Vance and head to the Paluma Ranges, which will be next week's episode.